Today is Saturday, and I was actually thinking about my childhood and some of the lessons that I got. This is going to be the story of Mrs. Jones. We used to live across the street from Mrs. Jones, and Mrs. Jones had probably an acre and a half, and the house was like right in the middle. And I used to cut her yard. Now, one side of the house, it just kind of dipped down. It was flat. That was cool and around the back. But this other side had this steep incline. Like, you know, you ever try to walk up a hill that you feel like you're going to fall down? I mean, it was so steep, you had to cut it sideways. You couldn't go up and down it. You had to cut it sideways. And I remember the first few times I cut Mrs. Jones' yard, she was an elderly lady and she would come out and she would inspect my work. And the first few times she's like, you see that blade of grass right there and that blade of grass right there? So I had to go ahead and take the lawnmower and get all of those little single blades of grass that I had missed because I wasn't cutting the grass evenly and straight. Because one of the things I learned was to overlap, like I would cut over the lawn that I cut about three to four inches versus trying to keep you know cut it as close as possible so after a few times of dealing with Ms. Jones and her inspection process I started instantly like I cut the grass she would come out she would inspect my work and then she would pay me and I didn't have to redo anything and the reason I'm telling you this story is I feel that from a social standpoint those things have become lost and we have people who are not getting those lessons because Mrs. Jones taught me how to do a job correctly. And this is how people, you know, she wasn't the only one like this. All the old people in my neighborhood were like this. Like if you did something for them, they would come out and inspect your work, make sure you did what they wanted before they would pay you. And that became an expectation, a norm, of working because you know I used to haul that lawn lawnmower around I used to cut lawns and because of Miss Jones and her high inspection habits I would cut other people's yards and I would instantly get paid because I had learned how to cut a yard how to do it correctly and one of the things that is lost is socially we have changed so much that we don't interact on that level because I feel growing up, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Kennebrew, Mrs. Thomas, Mr. Lee, Mr. Kirkland, uh, there, there was so many older leaders who were mentors who taught me some stuff because one of the things is, and this is a really big, big problem on YouTube. Everybody is grown. When I was a kid, if someone was older than you, and to be honest, most of the older people who were older acted respectfully. They did not just mess with you. So there was an inherent level of respect because this person is this old and they've been through life and they know these things and you didn't really question older people. And here on YouTube, like on Savage Finance right now, I've got like three idiots who are trying to question the sound financial principles that have enabled me to pay cash for cars, has enabled me to have amazing credit, has enabled me to be in the position to pay cash for houses. They want to question it because they have no respect. None whatsoever. No respect for my accomplishments. No respect for me as being someone who's been there done. None. It's just like, we on the same level, bruh. No, we're not. Because I was just thinking, with these older people in my neighborhood, I never ever thought that I was on the level of Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Lee or Mrs. Kirkland. I never ever really thought that we were peers. They were older, they were elder, and I would listen to these people. And this is a big, big issue on YouTube because you can go ahead and demonstrate success, have results, 
And if you're not in the wavelength that this person, and you know, when I say wavelength, it is a style of living that they respect. Because right now, this is one of the biggest problems. The quote, educated lane. There are really smart black folks out there who are doing some stuff, but because they are an educated lame, their accomplishments are not respected. They have more respect for a guy who is went to jail, who was trapping on the street corners, who speaks that street vernacular, than uh, a quote, so-called educated lame who's never been to jail, who's been a, built a successful life, perhaps a successful business, but because he isn't down or cool, his accomplishments aren't respected because these people only respect a certain aspect of hustle culture. And it, it's, it's just really, really sad because I was sitting there like, it never occurred to me to question Mrs. Jones. All right, Mrs. Jones. I'm on it. And many of you, and I, I want to say this as articulately as I can, many of you don't know your place. And when I say that, if you're not in a position to pay cash for a car, to pay cash for a house, to fund and finance your own businesses, you're not in a position to question that person because you don't know your place. And also with that, life is interesting. Life will illustrate to you all of your shortcomings. It will illustrate to you all of your problems, all of your issues, if you would observe, because I want you to do me a favor right now while you're watching this video. Wherever you're sitting, I want you to imagine and look at the totality of your life. Are you living life the way that you want to? Are you living in the house that you want to? Are you with the person, male or female, that you want to be with? Are you driving the car you want to drive? Do you have extra money, cash money in the bank right now? If you needed something or wanted something, you just get it like that. If that ain't your life, why would you argue with someone whose life is like that? That is one of the biggest questions. Cause like I said, I was thinking about my childhood and the lessons that I learned. And one of the things that I knew, I knew my place as a child. And as a child, my place was not to argue with elders. My place wasn't to try to show up elders. And many of you are good people. You like the channel, you like the information. You supported me and I really appreciate that. And there is a certain element of you who watch the channel and want to quote, question stuff when you don't have any results. And this is one of the reasons I bring this up. When I'm out in public or traveling on a plane and I meet another business owner and we start chatting, there's a level of reciprocity. There is none of this one-upmanship because when i meet another entrepreneur who has worked really hard to build a business and has success he recognizes that energy in me and we don't have these little pissing games because this person is successful this person has their own level of success their own accomplishments and they are not jealous or envious of mine I remember I was on the plane, I was flying first class, and I met this guy, and he was cool and everything, and we didn't really talk that much about, we started talking about 45 minutes, maybe an hour before the plane landed. And I found out that he was a real estate developer, and he was in Florida because he was racing Porsches. And I was like, oh man, that's really cool. And you know, he told me his story, you know, he had built up a real estate company, and he was a real estate developer, and. And I was like, really listening to it because it was a beautiful story, it was an interesting story. And he listened to my story. And then when I told him what the YouTube and the story sharks and stuff, he's like, wow, man, that is crazy. And I consistently, when, when, my, when my energy level meets equitable energy, I don't get that crap, but I only get that crap from broke, poor, 
po mental and poverty stricken people who want to get into it with me in the comments. Like, you know, I'm getting ready to do a lot of stuff for Savage Finance, because Savage Finance, because what I'm gonna do is flip it. Savage Finance is going to be the main channel, because, you know, this month, this first week, I got 1,500 subscribers on Savage Finance from the first to the seventh. So this might be my first 6,000 member, you know, subscriber month, I don't know, but I'm gonna push it. Whereas this, this channel has literally gotten 137 subscribers in the, in the same time, but I'm focusing more on Savage Finance and I'm getting ready to do some stuff because I think this uh, call-in show is gonna be hot. I really do. What I want to do, and one of the reasons we're having this conversation is to set expectations and to have a conversation because I like to call these men, and it's mostly men, this is what destroyed the first disruptive male channel because these men could not understand why I was getting these wild and amazing results that they were not getting. But they don't have the intellectual rigor to look at the body of work. Cause when I, you know, I actually tell you, it's like, I had to work, I had to work, I had to work. I had to rewrite ads, I had to work. I keep saying that and they keep missing that, looking for some secret cheat code and like when I told my story of when I was doing the white collar crime, there was one person, aha, you took a shortcut. I gave the money back and got a job. I did not take a shortcut. But there are so many folks who are looking for easy answers to complicated situations. And really the more complicated the situation is, the more complicated the solution is gonna be. And that's just the truth because if you if your if your grandfather was poor and your father was poor and you were poor these are the inherent legacies that you got from your family tree and unless you start doing some stuff radically different this will be the family legacy of your children and i i, I got so many people you know like i feel privileged and blessed that i have so many people who actually love the content who love the videos and you know, I'm really thankful for that. But I have this element of men, and it's mostly men, there's a few women, but it's mostly men who don't know their place. And when I say that, I'm not being disrespectful because just like when I was a child, many, many years ago, I knew my place and that left me open to receive and to be mentored and to be taught. If you don't know your place, nobody can tell you anything because you are so smart. And like I had one gentleman on Savage Finance who was trying to, cause you know, one of the things is every time you put up a comment, I look at the words you use and I also check your math. And this one clown, I'm gonna call him a clown, was saying you can get $8,000 off per month off of $50,000 investment. That is a 100% annualized return. Let me go ahead and give you the, you know, on a million dollar dividend stock portfolio would not pay $8,000 a month. It would pay $50,000 to $60,000 a year which averages out to about four to 5,000 per month. And this is a $1 million dividend stock portfolio. And you know, there are so many people who think that they're slick and cool, cool and you know, and I had several people in there because I was expressing the importance of having a strong cash flow situation, having a cash flow base that they could not phantom it. They could not conceive having enough cash to pay cap house, cash for house. Because one dude, and you know, and once again, I can tell where you are based on your terminology. I can tell how educated you are based on your verbiage. And he's like, you know, it's 15, 20 years to save up enough money. That told me how his pockets were. 15 is, you know, and I, I told him, it's like, you know, I made enough money in one year to buy four houses. So it don't take no 10, 15 years if you're smart enough. And that was a dig at him because he was disagreeing with the premise of the video based on some 
performance issues that he had because he felt that he was right. And there was these other people, once again, this is why I call it the great American credit indoctrination system, that people are literally drunk on credit. And also, once again, about knowing your place. When you know your place, you can be taught lessons. When you don't know your place, nobody can teach you anything because you feel that you're so cute. And I, I got a litmus test here. If you feel that you are so smart, number one, are you living the life that you wanna live? Number two, are you living where you wanna live? Number three, are you in a relationship with, with someone you wanna be with? And number four, are you driving what you wanna drive? Because if the answer is no to any one of those questions, you need to learn more than you already know. And this is one of the things like with Disruptive Male, I, I had so many feminine black men coming in because they couldn't understand the power of the subconscious mind. They could not understand the effect of hard work. They could not understand the accomplishments because I would sit at my desk and I would work. I would not watch TV. I would not play video games, but I would work. And that's what it's going to take for you to shift the trajectory of your life. And I have so many people who want to press down and, you know, um, talk against hard work who really don't want to participate in that conversation because just to keep it a buck, they're lazy. They're really lazy. And that is a huge, huge issue with people trying to become successful because they have this level of laziness. They have this level of entitlement that they feel because right now America is on a socialist bent. People want universal basic income. People want to be taken care of. And this is where America's heading. We, we will not be, well, let me go ahead and say, we will have a part of America that will be living in socialism. And then we will have a part of America for those people who are educated, who know the power of entrepreneurship, the power of ownership. So we're going to have many different Americas. And we're going to have a large segment of people who are going to be living in that socialist America because they would rather live in a socialist America than to press forward on their own efforts and to sit down and work ridiculously hard. I will say that I worked ridiculously hard when I was in the storage auction business. And that was good. That was good because it gives me perspective. Because right now, you can't get me off of the YouTube online course business model. I get to work from home. I get to make money from the creation of my own mind. I got a lot of stuff that's gonna come down for Savage Finance. I got a lot of things that are about to jump off because that channel, unlike this channel, I'm building correctly for YouTube and it's growing. I had a video that popped Thursday. I mean, you know, like, I only have like, what? I think eight, close to 8,000 subscribers or I think it's 7,000 is, is moving so quick. But I had a video that I released Thursday and it's already at 10 or 12,000 views. That doesn't happen over here because of the way that this channel is built. But I understand what I'm doing and I understand how to build new YouTube channels. And that's what I'm gonna do in the future because the storage auction business was fun. I made a lot of money but I didn't make the kind of money that I make doing this. Not even close. Not even, not, not even close. And to be able to make this kind of money from the comfort of home is amazing and it's a blessing and it is so nice. And this is something because it's not physical labor, it's mental. I can do this until I'm 80, 90 years old if I wanted to. I don't think I'm gonna do this until I'm 90. I think I may, you know, dial it way back because I got like a 10 year plan and uh, 12 years, I will be 65, 12 years. And the older you become, the faster time moves. 
So I know that 12 years are gonna come and go before I know it. And that's why I have to be active and be working on my plan of building and growing because you know i got a 10-year plan and I'm, I'm looking at it i'm checking the numbers i've talked to my mentors i've talked to people who are already doing what i want to do so it's a good good plan but you can never because you know i have many of you and this this is once again you don't know your place and you don't know me and i don't it blame you for not really knowing me because you know there's a lot of new people who come here who don't know the story but this whole suggestion, I, I get it all the time. It's like, hey, you should try Forex. Um, I make more money than 99% of the Forex traders out there. Why would I want to leave something that is proven that makes me money to do something that I'm going to have to be in a position where I'm going to lose money for three to four years while I learn how to trade? I get that all kinds of stuff like, oh man, you should buy Bitcoin. Why should I buy Bitcoin? I get that all of the time because of people who are not financially sophisticated who don't understand what I'm doing and who, because they don't know their place, do not appreciate what I've done. Because whenever I run into other entrepreneurs and I tell my story, they're literally blown away. It's, it's just like, wow, that is really amazing. These are the things I hear from my peers. It's not the stuff I hear from people who should be listening to me. Yeah, you should be listening to me. If you're not living how you want to live, if you're not living in a house you want to live, if you if you don't have the free, you should listen because like I had to pay my dues, the storage auction business, I learned so much. I'm really grateful for the experience. I learned how to work hard. I learned how to strategize. I learned how to organize. I learned how to market. I learned how to average. I learned so many things from the storage auction business, but I can look back at that and I'd be like, man, all I gotta do is wake up and do some videos and create an online course and do some marketing. I don't have to get in my car in this Georgia heat, go stand in front of units, bid against people. Then once I bid and win the units, then come back later with a truck and the crew, unload the crew, go to the warehouse, sort the stuff. I, I don't have to do none of that. Cause you know, I, I had someone who called for a consult and he was, you know, trying to drag me back in the storage auction business. And it, it's just like, it ain't happening. I've been doing this longer than I've been doing anything else in my life. And I thoroughly enjoy it. And there is, I, I honestly think YouTube has another 10 years to grow. Another 10 years. And I'm gonna be here for it and the opportunities and also with savage finance the basic sound financial you know anything you get from savage finance is not going to have you losing money it's not going to have you in a dangerous position it's not going to have you uh risking money or throwing money outside or doing anything crazy everything in savage finance is practical sound and safe and i got some people who will come up in here who, who don't have a long-term emergency fund, who don't have a short-term emergency fund, who don't have a family operating account, talking about buying some Bitcoin. And they, they, they think that because they're on this hip, new, and now thing, that they are smarter than me, but they don't have a $90,000 Porsche in their car and their garage that they just bought and paid cash for. They think they're smarter than me, but they don't live in a million dollar house but they think they're smarter than me because they are gods and they have these illusions of grandeur of their own imagination that they're greater than they are, but they don't have no results. They have no receipts, none whatsoever. And it is one of the most dangerous mental games you can play with yourself because before you know it, you're gonna be old and you're not gonna have nothing. And you're gonna be wondering, what did you do with your life? because you're chasing shiny objects. You cannot sit down and focus. And this is something else the storage auction business taught me, how to sit down and focus. Sit, focus, execute, and apply. And this is one of the things I've learned. So, you know, with Savage Finance, you know, and it's savage, because you're right now, the video that's gonna drop tomorrow is gonna be going after a sacred cow. And a lot of people are not gonna like this video, but check my math. 
check my math. I will tell you because it's going to come at like 630 in the morning. So that's going to be the video for Sunday. And this is something else, too, that I'm learning in my YouTube channel, because right now I, I don't edit the videos for Savage Finance. I have a group of editors that edit the videos and it has dramatically increased my workflow. All I got to do is figure out what kind of video I'm going to make figure out the thumbnail first because you know just to give you a little tip you should do your thumbnail first and you a combination of your thumbnail and title and start working on that even before you shoot your video it's going to make a huge difference in your YouTube videos in the future because you're thinking and you're researching and you're doing stuff so essentially all I got to do is think research do the thumbnail then shoot the video and ship it out to them and then I get it back and it's a done product and you know literally i couldn't do savage finance this youtube channel life on the tube and in black and white without editors i couldn't do four channels without editors it, it would not work because i would be creating a bunch of crappy videos i, I could do that but to create excellence and better videos i, I need some help and I feel that Savage Finance from an AdSense perspective is going to make more than enough money to pay the editors. And this channel, I'm not going to make as much in AdSense this month on this channel because I'm not going to go as hard as I did because I was waiting for Savage Finance to come up and, you know, I, I'm, I got some stuff popping over there and Savage Finance could make two or $3,000 in AdSense money this month without as many videos that I have to do here at Hustlers Kung Fu to make the same money. It's amazing once you start to learn, you know, cause I'm become a technician and a craftsman of YouTube. And that's one of the things I want you, cause right now I'm in a YouTube mastermind and I listen to the people who have the mastermind cause they, you know, this, this is something else too. If you feel that you can eventually figure out everything you need to figure out, you are fooling yourself and you're misleading yourself because in this YouTube mastermind, I've discovered things that I have never, that I would have never figured out on my own. Never would have figured these things out on my own. And that's where many of you are. You're never going to figure this stuff out on your own and you need guidance and a mentor. But one of the things to do is the pricing of the Savage Finance products are going to be more in line to where people are because there's going to be two new courses because I got to sit down and really focus on doing them but there's going to be two new courses like how to create a single member LLC and prep it for business credit and then there's going to be another course like how to start a business from scratch but it's going to be more in detail and it, it will be with savage finance pricing so there's a lot of stuff that's coming for those who are willing to listen who have their eyes open and who are in the position to receive the information. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna do is create a you know, social media policy. If I see that you are a fool, I'm just gonna block you and say what I have to say and keep it moving. Because it literally, I had this one guy who wanted to have an argument over the term of investor and being an investing. I have an argument about that because see, there are many people who rather look good than actually be good. And this is one of those people. But that's all I got. Just a little conversation, lunar introspection. So what you should do is go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success, and dig into those courses and start making some additional money. And also, you should go below and get the oxygen banking app. I got a video that's going to probably be ready Wednesday. I may release it Wednesday outside of the schedule because I think this needs to come out. And that's gonna be talking about Oxygen Bank. It's gonna be an update video. So, it, you know, it, it's just so comforting to know that I have a plan, that I have a sequence and I can speak because like, literally I've got videos already, well, you know, they're done. And at one point I may just go ahead and hire another editor 
and get like literally a month ahead on Savage Finance because you know, uh, I've got videos that are done, but if I got a better video, I will move this video to the back and I will drop this new videos. And this is the chess match that I'm playing with the YouTube network, the camera network that I've, I'm building. Because once I figure out, you know, life on the tube, get that going and get black and white going, I'm probably gonna create another channel. So I'll be running five YouTube channels. That's how much I am sold on YouTube. So with that, I will see you guys in future videos. So watch this next video right here.